Hi everybody, I'm Greg Fischel. Welcome to bonus weather video number two for this week. And uh, I just warn you up front, this is a little bit more math intensive than what I normally do on these videos. So if you absolutely detest math, uh, this might be Miller time. And uh, if you uh, enjoy the mathematical part of meteorology, then hopefully you'll find this uh, interesting. But let's go on ahead here and take a look at something called, uh, well, first of all, we're going to talk about how you can split the wind up in to two components, okay? And this is critical for being able to make calculations about what's going on in that wind field. So the U component of the wind is the west to east component, okay? And the V component of the wind is the south to north component. So if the wind is blowing from the south toward the north, then V is positive. If it's blowing from north to south, it's negative. And on the other side of the ledger, if the wind is blowing west to east, U is positive. If it's blowing east to west, U is negative, okay? So with all that in mind, let's say we have a southwest wind that's blowing at 10 miles per hour, okay? Well, we're going to split that up into a U component and a V component, okay? Now, how do we find out what U and V actually are? Well, we obviously have a right triangle down there, a 90 degree angle. Well, if you have a 90 degree angle there, then the other two angles are going to be 45 degrees, okay? So let's put that in there. Now, this is where we get into a little bit of trigonometry. The cosine of an angle is defined as the adjacent side to that angle divided by the hypotenuse which is the side of the triangle opposite the right angle, or the 90 degree angle. So the cosine of this angle right here is the ratio of the U component of the wind, which is the adjacent side, divided by the hypotenuse, which we already know is 10, okay? So the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse is U divided by 10, okay? Now, we know the cosine of 45 degrees is 0.707. You can use your trusty calculator or whatever to, to get that. And so if you multiply both sides of the equation by 10, you get the U component is 10 times 0.707 or 7.07 .07 miles per hour. Okay, so that is the U component of the wind, uh, the part of that southwest wind at 10, the west to east component. Now, we still have a southwest wind at 10, and we've still got our U component. Now we're going to take a look at the V component of the wind. We've still got our right angle, 90 degrees, the 245s. Now the sine of an angle is defined as the ratio of the opposite side from this angle. Okay, so that's the V component, is the opposite side, the ratio of that to the hypotenuse. So that means the sine of 45 degrees is the opposite side, ratio to the hypotenuse, or V over 10, okay? Sine of 45 is also 0 0.707. I tried to make it as easy as I could here. And so again, you multiply both sides of the equation by 10, and you end, oh, let me go back here. Okay, so then you get uh, 10 times 0 0.707 or 7.07. .07. So both the U and the V components um, are 7.07. Uh, .07. They're identical. All right. So now let's take a real world example here. We're gonna take a trusty cold front, assume it's linear in this case. And we've got northwest winds on one side of the front and we've got southwest winds on the other side of the front, on the warm side. And again, you already know now about these components. So on the cold side of the front, the U component, okay, is positive because it's blowing west to east, but the V component is negative because it's blowing north to south. Remember, positive is south to north, negative is north to south. So the V component is actually negative on the cold side of the front. And then on the warm side of the front, the U component is about the same, if not identical. So that really doesn't change much. But the V component now is positive. So negative on the cold side, positive on the warm side. So the divergence equation says that we need to look at how the U component of the wind is changing along the x-axis and how the V component of the wind is changing along the y-axis. So let's put a little trusty coordinate system in here. We're going to put our x right on the front and 
this is the x-axis here, okay, like that, and the y-axis is up and down. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to, uh, to abruptly end there. Okay. So, again, the U component, as we move along the x-axis here, is not changing that much. This is what it looks like on this side. This is what it looks like on this side. So let's just say pictorially that U is not changing along the x-axis, so we're just going to call that term zero, okay? But what about V? How is it changing along the y-axis? Well, down here on this, you know, part of the y-axis, the V component is positive because it's blowing south to north. But up here, and we can look at any of these arrows here, the V component is negative. It's blowing north to south. So what is V doing as we move upward along the y-axis? It's going from positive to negative. So dV dy is minus, du dx is zero. So that means the divergence is a negative number. And negative divergence is a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A, uh, a long-winded way of saying convergence, okay? Just like negative convergence is divergence, okay? So in this case, the divergence is negative, which means you've got a convergent wind field along the cold front, and we would expect that. And so when the air comes together, it goes up, and if there's enough moisture, you get clouds and precipitation and showers and thunderstorms and all that type of thing. So by being able to split the wind up into two components, the west to east and the south to north, then, by using trigonometry, we can do calculations about the wind field. You can also calculate the amount of spin. That's a slightly uh, different equation. If I'm remembering correctly, I think that's dv dx minus du dy. Um, and so there's all sorts of different things you can do. Uh, all you have to do is establish those two components of the wind and then use a little bit of trigonometry and the calculations are done. All right. So, for you nerdy people out there, I hope you enjoyed that. And for those of you that have already checked out, I, uh, I guess you can't hear me, but I was going to wish you a nice Wednesday evening. And uh, the next daily weather update will be coming up tomorrow and the next bonus weather video on Friday. All right, folks, you all take care, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya!